I really like the menu screens that they actually have this time. They just I mean, shows you around the car and everything, the pit lanes. It's really, really nice. So, oh, it looks so nice and black. That is fierce as fuck, but I want to go for the darker blue. That does look very, very nice, but same time, for video video quality wise, it will pop a little Are bit better with this sort of blue. In this car? Yes, I'm ready, bitch. Get me on that track right now. So, this is Lime Rock Park. This is one of the tracks that I have been dying to drive. Seriously, I've been dying to drive it, so mm, look at it. Look at it now. To pump me up for this, I just watched Chris Harris's review on this car, and it's freaking brilliant, so... Bitch, shut the fuck up. Everyone's seen videos of this already, I just want to get into it. Each driver is as unique and competitive as the players who trained them. Oh, unique and competitive, meaning bashing each other the fuck out of the way. So that's all I get, seriously. Oh, oh, get it, a jerk there. Well, this is four-wheel drive, so... You can barely hear it. Holy crap, you can barely hear this thing. I know there's a big bunch of cars around us, bricks! In GT86, get out of my way. Whoa, it's a fucking Hyundai Veloster. Getting shoved about. This thing handles superbly. I've already dented it to bits. Come on. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That blew in 350. Being a little bit aggressive, Pally Boy. Oi! <laughs> Smacked his rear end again. God damn it. Anyway, in terms of like actual speed and that, the Golf isn't that bad. Because I think this one is 297 horsepower. I think that's what the R has, maybe a little bit more. But um, the R400 looks bonkers, so I really hope they add that into the game when it actually officially gets launched. I know it's going to be a limited edition, but it's a really, really, really cool car and I want it. <laughs> I want it, man. I want one. <laughs> I don't really like the back end because it kind of looks like it's just been kicked in. You know what I mean? From the Golf R R400, but yeah, from the front it looks super, super mean, man. So we jump into the cockpit view. Typical nice German interior. Yes. Now this is the one thing I like about this game over Forza Motorsport 5 as well. You sit in probably the most like, perfect positions in each car. They're all different, right? But there's something about it. There's something about it over. FM5, I feel as if you're like pulled back a little bit more, whereas in FM, FM5 you're going to get like that pushed in. I might have just mixed up that completely, but yeah, frigate, he is going, he is going. Let's knuckle down and see if we can actually catch up with this guy. I am grinding gears like Peter Griffin, holy shit. You know when we like grinds my gears? <laughs> grinding gears. <laughs> what is he, fuck is he driving? What are you driving, mate? Oh, you're driving a Scooby-Doo. Oh my god, now. I'm actually thinking about doing the Hellcat Challenger review around this track because this straight and all of the elevation things and the first few corners will make it drift like an absolute monster. It really will, so... That's probably going to be the first big review when the game actually comes out now. Uh, a lot of people were quite confused about the Ford GT review that I've done yesterday. If you've not seen it already, I'll leave a link in the description down below, while well, down there, I'll leave this video a like as well. Be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'm quite confused saying, oh, why did you do the full review on the demo? Now, if he stayed to the end, I says that this isn't the real review. Uh, it, is a, it is a review, right? But it's not the full review. It's just like my first experience with it and like my first thoughts. So I'm going to be giving you a full in-depth review probably after the Challenger Hellcat. So yeah, expect that to be a belter. Expect that to be a belter because I'm going to be using all the Forza Vista shit and everything like that in it. So it's going to be wicked. It's going to be absolutely wicked now. Speaking of wicked stuff, this Golf is handling on a dime, it is very good, very good turn in, very good grip. I, I've, I mean, I think for the, the actual time I drove this without recording it, um, I drove the RX-7 instead of this because I wanted to wait until I actually make a video to do with this car, but 
Yeah, um, that definitely felt a lot more gripping than the RX-7, so yeah, bitch, I don't really care. Everyone's seen this bit, everyone will see it when they get the game, so I just want to drive this little golf and enjoy my fail. I like to call this track the Rave Club at night, if you know what I mean, because the big building and everything, that changes the colours and everything. So good, so good. Go, golfy. Go, kill the RX-7. Come on, man, now. I really just can't wait till this full game comes out because I won't be doing many other videos on the demo guys I might do one more because I don't want to overload the channel with like too much content in this game yet Because that means it will be fresh when the actual game comes out so For the next video I'll probably be checking out the rivals mode if you know what I mean like Because uh, I do believe we get to drive like the Audi S3, the Corvette Z06 God I thought it was the other track Holy crap I thought it was like the long circuit of Abu Dhabi but it's tricky. It's getting tricky. It's getting tricky. Right, so actual focus this time, Frankie boy. Put in a good race. By the GT86. That's it, but if there's anything you want me to do in Forza Motorsport 6, guys, as soon as it drops, then please do let me know, because I'm actually off for a week. I took the week off to actually play that game, so yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be making a shit ton of videos on it, seriously. I might be dedicating that week to Forza 6. So, yeah, man. Yeah. We're going to be doing a lot of builds. We're going to be doing a lot of fucking shit. Seriously, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So, interested to see what you guys have got to say. Come on, golf. Turn. Turn now. I've seen The Perfect Road Trip 2, uh, which is the Jeremy Clarkson DVD by Richard Hammond and that. Um, and Jeremy says that this generation of the GTI, although this is the R, it's basically just one step up from the GTI, uh, it's got one of the best front differentials ever made, so I'm trying to test it right now to see if I can feel it actually not giving any understeer, and so far, I'm liking it, seriously, so far I'm liking it, I can't really find any understeer with this thing, which is great how they implement the real handling into the game, even some oversteer there! Oh yeah, I can only imagine when this thing, like, when I tweak the differential, just get it for a little bit more rear drive. We do. You stay behind, boy. You stay behind me. Oh, Jack. <laughs> hey, that was understeer. <laughs> that was understeer that time. Oh, yes. Now, I keep forgetting how big this, like, track is, man. So good, though. It's a really, really nice track. Granted, I don't think it's the sort of track for these like little hot hatchbacks and stuff. I feel as if it's more of a hypercar slash supercar track because you get quite a lot of big like straights and stuff, but you get quite a lot of hard corners. But hmm, I suppose it's a it's a good change to see these things on this track because if you go to I think it's in Dubai or Abu Dhabi. This is in um, I can never I can never thingy between the two, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's thingy, it's, it's mental, it's absolutely mental, like, the cars that go around here, it is incredible. Can we get through here? Did you see how dark it went there, man? Oh, God! I mean, I'm probably properly going to be freaking out when we're on the Nürburgring in the dark. So how the hell you might see anything, it's just with your headlights. God damn, man, I like it. Do you really like it? Is it is it wicked? Yes, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Damn, man. Now, turn 10, hats off to you. Hats off to you. I mean, this is just the demo, and it is great. It is great, man. It is very, very good. Lights and everything. Oh, oh, man. I know it might sound like I'm slightly fanboying with this game, but... Come on. <laughs> Come on, cut me some fucking slack, please. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got to say. Um, what I would do with this Golf is, give it a tad more power, definitely give it a tad more power, no, tad more power to run about 400 horsepower, aka the R400, really want to see how that thing is like, body ball, I'm holding the brake down as quick as possible, fucking hell, I mean that's the thing with Forza Motorsport 5, that's what I'm trying to say, you really need to think about braking, same with this, really really do, I'm just doing that, mood to talk, not in the mood to like properly persist in driving. Holy crap. I should have turned up the driver, I, 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 if you know what I mean. 
God damn, they're way back there. Hey, while we're, while we're here, why not have fun? You know what I mean? Fuck it, we're gonna... We're at the front of the back, let's drift this bitch. Oh yes! A little bit of power sliding. Ooh, yeah! Oh my god, this thing's surprisingly controllable. I honestly thought I was going to spin that there when I said that. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly controllable. Boof! Dead into a wall. Oh, go up. Right, let's see if we get a little bit of third gear drifting. Kick at the clutch. But understeery there. But she can hold it there. She can hold it. Definitely hold it. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> and no, I'm not Irish. God's sake, there's still people thinking I'm Irish, I'm Scottish. Jesus Christ, cuz I got a few comments uh, the other night saying, Are you Irish? I'm like, No, I'm from Scotland. <laughs> yeah, there's a big. Well, there's not much of a difference. I feel as if, like, Scottish people have more of a deep, deep, like, Thick accent. I know you can get like thick Irish accents as well, but one word. Uh, nah, no, I was gonna say manly, but oh, what's it? Oh, hello. Mod packs, or even a brand new car. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? And see what you win. Oh, we've got to drag. We've got to drag Alexis Audi RS5 M4. Right, hope for the jag. Come on, where's the jag? You won a new car. Alright, that's, that's better than expected. Holy shit. That would be so good if they actually transactioned over to the actual game, but I don't think they do. I don't think Show they do. That kind of sucks. Give you a chance to drive some of the world's fastest cars in events that highlight what makes each car special. Wait, so that's indie cars, isn't it? Holy shit. You have unlocked your first showcase event. Ooh. <laughs> Oh,